And take a look at this. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured unprecedented pictures. In a revelation that has sent ripples through the global scientific community, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has reportedly spotted more than 750 galaxies beyond what was previously considered the edge of the observable universe. This extraordinary breakthrough challenges the very foundations of modern cosmology and opens a portal into a deeper, possibly more infinite cosmos than previously imagined. For decades, the observable universe was thought to define the limits of what could be seen or measured, approximately 93 billion light years in diameter, bounded not by the true scope of the universe itself, but by the constraints of the speed of light and the age of the cosmos. Now with this staggering discovery, the JWST has essentially shattered those boundaries, showing us that there may be far more out there than we ever conceived. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The galaxies discovered are not just faint smudges on an incomprehensibly distant canvas, they are coherent structures, some remarkably well formed despite being located in a realm previously thought inaccessible to our instruments. Their detection suggests either that our models of the early universe are incomplete, or that there is more to the structure and curvature of space-time than our current equations can account for. The James Webb Telescope with its powerful infrared capabilities, has reached back further in time and space than any of its predecessors. These 750 galaxies are so distant that the light from them began its journey toward us more than 13.5 billion years ago, possibly just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The surprise isn't just their existence, it's that we could detect them at all. Infrared imaging is what sets JWST apart, allowing it to peer through dust and gas and into realms hidden to the Hubble Space Telescope. As space expands, light from ancient galaxies is stretched, becoming redshifted, slipping into the infrared spectrum. The web was built specifically to target these ancient redshifted photons, and in doing so, it has not only fulfilled expectations, but exceeded them. These newly spotted galaxies lie beyond the previously assumed visibility horizon, where the light from celestial bodies should have stretched so thin that no instrument could detect it. And yet, they are there, whispering from the void, challenging everything we thought we understood about the limits of observation. The implications of this discovery are staggering. If we have indeed glimpsed objects beyond what was once considered the observable edge, then either our understanding of the universe's expansion is flawed, or these galaxies are the result of some unknown physical processes. One possibility that cosmologists are now exploring is whether these galaxies represent evidence of a curvature or distortion in space-time caused by dark energy or some other exotic form of matter or force. Alternatively, we may need to reconsider our assumptions about the nature of the cosmic microwave background, the remnants of the Big Bang which until now have defined the limits of the observable universe. Another implication lies in the apparent maturity of these galaxies. Many of them show signs of structure, spiral arms, clusters, and even what appears to be rudimentary galactic organization. If such complex systems could form so early in the universe's timeline, then either cosmic evolution occurred far faster than we believed, or we have fundamentally misunderstood how matter organized itself after the Big Bang. Such complexity should not have had time to arise if we are to believe the standard model of cosmology, yet there they are, organized islands of matter in what should have been a chaotic and formless sea. These galaxies may also force us to rethink the distribution of matter in the early universe. Previously, it was believed that matter was relatively uniformly distributed after the Big Bang, only beginning to coalesce under gravity after hundreds of millions of years. The presence of so many well-formed galaxies so early implies that matter may have clumped more quickly, or that gravity behaved differently under extreme early conditions. The James Webb findings may even suggest new physics, perhaps modifications to Einstein's theory of general relativity or an entirely new set of rules governing the infancy of the cosmos. Perhaps most striking is the psychological impact of such a discovery. Humanity has always looked to the stars for meaning, for origin stories, for understanding. Every major step in astronomical discovery has not only reshaped our science but redefined our place in the universe. When Galileo first turned his telescope to the sky, he overturned centuries of belief. 
When Edwin Hubble discovered the expansion of the universe, he launched the field of cosmology as we know it. Now, the James Webb Telescope has taken us a step beyond even that, beyond the horizon of the visible, into realms previously deemed unseeable. It forces a shift in how we understand existence, scale, and even time itself. In essence, these 750 galaxies are not just dots of light. They are messages from a time when the universe was still in its infancy, yet already blossoming with complex structures. Their detection opens questions about the nature of time travel in a cosmic sense. If we can see this far back, might we someday be able to simulate or reconstruct the conditions of those early epochs? Might this offer clues to the moments just after the Big Bang, which remain one of the most tantalizing mysteries in physics? What's more, the variety among these newly identified galaxies is nothing short of spectacular. Some are dense and compact, appearing as though the matter had collapsed into shape with remarkable speed. Others are irregular, more chaotic, potentially indicating galactic collisions or rapid formative activity. This diversity at such an early time suggests that galaxy formation may have been more dynamic and varied than previously thought. Instead of a slow and uniform assembly of the cosmic web, we may be looking at an early universe teeming with rapid formation, violent mergers, and energetic processes on a scale previously unimagined. The discovery also raises fundamental questions about dark matter and dark energy. Both remain among the most mysterious aspects of the cosmos. If galaxies could form more quickly or in greater number than previously predicted, it may be that our understanding of the scaffolding provided by dark matter is incomplete. Dark matter is thought to form the cosmic web, the invisible structure upon which visible matter congregates. But if this web formed more quickly or in a different pattern, it could explain the early emergence of galaxies. Alternatively, it could mean our measurements of dark energy, the force believed to be accelerating the expansion of the universe, are incorrect or incomplete. A faster rate of expansion or a more complex behavior of this energy could alter the distances and timelines we've so carefully constructed. Beyond the scientific and theoretical implications, the technological achievement is itself monumental. The James Webb Space Telescope represents decades of international collaboration, engineering brilliance, and a shared human desire to know more. Its ability to detect such faint signals from so long ago, from so far away, is a testament to the progress humanity has made in its quest to understand the cosmos. Each of these 750 galaxies is not just a discovery. They are confirmation that the telescope is working as intended, perhaps even better than hoped. There is also a profound sense of continuity in this discovery. From ancient humans gazing at the night sky, interpreting the stars as gods or spirits, to modern scientists decoding cosmic messages in infrared wavelengths, the drive to understand what lies beyond has never diminished. Now, for the first time, we are seeing beyond the veil, reaching past a limit we once thought was unbreakable. The psychological shift this entails is enormous. It alters not just our scientific paradigms, but our cultural and existential frameworks. What does it mean to live in a universe that may be far larger or stranger than we ever imagined? These galaxies are time capsules. Each photon of light that struck JWST's sensors began its journey across the cosmos before Earth had even formed, before the sun had ignited, before the Milky Way had fully coalesced. To detect such ancient messengers is to commune with the universe in its raw, primordial state. It's not merely seeing farther, it's experiencing a deeper, more ancient version of reality. It brings us closer to the origin without ever leaving our celestial home. The findings also ignite new questions about the multiverse. If such distant galaxies exist beyond our previously understood horizon, could there be more, perhaps even other universes? The inflationary model of the Big Bang suggests that our universe could be one bubble among many, each expanding into its own space-time domain. These newly observed galaxies don't confirm this theory, but they open the door wider for its consideration. If our observable universe has edges that are more porous or variable than once believed, it's not unreasonable to speculate that even more radical realities lie beyond. Moreover, the nature of these galaxies might offer clues about the first stars, population three stars, thought to be massive, luminous, and composed almost entirely of hydrogen and helium. These stars have never been directly observed, but if the galaxy's web has found formed early enough, 
they might contain or bear the fingerprints of these stellar ancestors. Detecting such signatures would be akin to finding the fossils of the very first living organisms, only on a cosmic scale. This discovery could also affect the search for life. While the galaxies themselves are far too young and distant for life as we know it to exist, their presence broadens the scope of the universe and with it, the possibility of diverse planetary systems. If the universe is more expansive than we thought, if galaxies formed earlier and more frequently, then the number of potentially habitable worlds increases as well. It shifts the probability curves in favor of life being a more common cosmic occurrence. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on James Webb spotting 750 galaxies beyond our universe? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.